What you got for me? So um, I'm speaking on um, my mother. My mother was a single mom. Okay. Um, your mother was a single mom. Yes. How I'm old is your mother? Um, my mother now, she's older. She's 50. Um, she's she 50? Remarried. How old are you? I'm, sorry. I'm 24. Okay. Um, she remarried, actually, uh, because her first husband had passed. Okay, but she... hold on. I need you to understand something. Mm-hmm. What did I say? Is your mama a baby mama? No, no, no. I'm not finished. No, no, no. She, I'm asking. Is, is your mama a baby mama? No. Initially, she's a widow. Oh, right. So, by definition, it's not the same. No, but I'm not done. Go ahead. So, um, the next guy that she was with, after him, things did not work out. She did have a kid with that with that person. Uh -huh. And that's where all the other kids came in. And she was able to find someone else, even though she already had. And your point is ultimately what? My point is ultimately you can find someone else to be with you, even if you are. Right. Now, why don't you go out and have a bunch of kids and see how that worked for you? I don't think that's going to work for me. Okay. Well, why, just... so if you had, so if you had daughters, you go out and recommend doing the same thing. Um, no, that's not the point. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. See, when you, ladies like you like to come in and say, yeah, but see, I know one person that it happened to work out for. And see, the exception doesn't disprove the rule. It proves the rule. First of all, your mother was married. She wasn't a baby mama to begin with. But then she turned around and chose to become a baby mama and then got married again. That's the way life worked out for her, yes. So why don't you go? So, so what you want to? So what she's trying to tell you, ladies, is go out and have children, and it'll work out for you magically, like her mom. Is that what you're telling them? Then, no. Then what is it? I think the only reason, to be 100 percent honest with you, why it worked out for my mom is because my mom was like really, she was really beautiful. <laughs> so why are you? So again. Is every woman really beautiful? But then you said if you want to... No, ma'am. Is every woman really beautiful? First of all, I I'm going back and forth with you, but here's the net net of it. Do you know any women who have children who got married these days? Because, see, your mother's 50. I'm from the same generation. You're 24? Mm-hmm. Right. You got any friends that have got kids? I have one friend right now that got married over Zoom. And she had a baby uh -huh. and and she got married over she got well it's in the <laughs> covid pandemic moment all right so, so again ladies i'm going to tell you if you want to listen to this go right ahead set your sights and play the odds but if you were out here giving women advice what would you tell them bank on a covid pandemic marriage no, no, absolutely not. She was with him for a moment before. They what would you got tell married. women to do? I would tell them don't make the same mistake twice. What do you mean don't make the same mistake twice? Would you tell them to get married before they had a baby? That's not, uh, of course. Okay, then. So again, if you were but telling, if you, are, if you were telling them to get married before you had a baby, the whole thing about your mother, you just, you just uh, negated that. No, I think that's a different generation. So my mother was fortunate. No, I'm I'm 51 thinking. years old. It's not. It's a different. Gen, it's not a different generation. The odds were bad back then too. See, you got all kind of you got all kind of things going on because your mother was an attractive woman. She found she had more bites at the apple. So, getting having a child outside of a marriage is dumb. Just because your mom lucked up does not make it the thing to do. Just because you can have a friend who can get married on over Zoom does not make it a thing to do. Why do you black women like to argue for the for the hard path? I'm not arguing for the hard path. Well, making the point, that. making the point, making the point for it is arguing for it. You're speaking. No. no, no. Understand something. In debate, when you are for something, that's arguing for it. I'm saying don't do it, and you come in and say, "Well, no, I'm going to go the opposite." So you're an affirmation of this. No. Yes, that's no. what you did. No, 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 no. That's called what you're saying doesn't have any nuance, and I'm. I don't. Nuance. No, no. I'm the nuance. See, 
the, the wonderful thing about life is you ladies like to play all this nuance. When it comes to men, it's very black and white. Your mother was in, she, in the extreme minority. Would you suggest that women go out and do what your mother did? No. Then that's all you need to be speaking about. Going out and telling women, well, I wouldn't suggest that you did it, but it can happen. Is that the wise course? You know what? You know what? You may not, you may not OD on heroin or, or die, but it does happen. But go ahead and take your chances. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, it really kind of is. So at 24 years old, why aren't you married yet? So I'm. I have a boyfriend. Um, why aren't you married yet? Did you go to college? Yes. Okay. What college did you go to? I. Do I have to say my school out loud? Well, I don't care. Did you graduate? Um. Yes. Okay. Uh, by 20, did you notice it? Do you have any college friends that you went to school with? White friends, non-black friends that are getting married? Because when I was good, most women are getting married right out of college between 22 and 25. Mm, a lot of my, I don't want to be like, I don't want to sound racist or anti-Semitic or anything like that. But a lot of my Jewish friends were married during college. And exactly. Were, yeah. And so when I ask you, why aren't you married? You, you look like I asked you something difficult. Why aren't you married yet? No. No, I don't think it's difficult. Um, don't want to get married this young? I'm, I, I, I love my boyfriend. Uh -huh. I'm happy being in a relationship. Right, you better say that shit because he's going to see the video, but you, but he, but why don't you marry him yet? Um, he wants to get married. Okay, so he's broke. No, he's not broke. So he's, so he's, so what's wrong with him? Nothing's wrong with him. So let me get this right. He's not broke and he wants to marry you, but you don't want to get married. What's wrong with you? Oh, I never said I don't want to get married. Well, I asked you, why aren't you married? We're just not married yet. How long have you been together? We've been together, we're going on two years. Why aren't you married? I'll take the six months. So let me get this right. He wants to get married. Yes. He's told you he wants to marry you. Yes. And you told him to go buy a ring? Yes. And he has it? Oh, I have a ring, yeah. He's dropped on one knee and proposed to you. Yes. And you said what? Of course I said yes. You, but we hold, just on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Uh, of course you said yes? Uh, that would make a fiancé, not a boyfriend. I mean... No, 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 no. I was very clear. He dropped on one knee, ring, proposed, you said yes. That makes a fiancé, not a boyfriend. Yes. So why are you calling your fiancé your boyfriend? Because it's very new. <laughs> That's bullshit. Most women who that's are not bullshit. No, that's not no, that's no, not no that is bullshit. That is bull that is, bull, that is bullshit. That is bullshit. When women get no, when women not. get engaged to a man they like and they got a ring, they can't wait. They brushing their hair all the time and look, either show me your ring. Give me a hand. Show me the hand. Put your left hand up. No, 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 show me. No, no, just give me your left hand. It's in my dresser. You ain't engaged. It's right you, here. No, see, see guys, ladies. Pay attention. This woman came on giving you advice. She has a boyfriend who she says is a fiance that she don't even claim. The ring ain't even on her true. finger. Ain't even on her finger. Yeah. Yep. See, here's a, here's what's called. This, she's what I she's what I consider to be pretty rich. She's what I consider to be pretty rich. Let me tell you what's wrong with pretty pretty rich women like this. Pretty rich women are some of the worst women to deal with. Why? If this was a man that she wanted to marry, first thing, she would have married him a long time ago. She damn sure wouldn't be calling a fiance a boyfriend. This is why I tell you, BBD, don't trust the big butt and the smile. You better not be trusting this pretty face just because she says something. See, Women like that tend to think men like myself get enamored with their looks. I'm not impressed. I see pretty women all the time. I don't let you just say some shit because you're pretty. So what? I get down to the meat of it. I question her just like I question everybody else. And you see the same BS. Another black woman who's apparently stringing some guy along because if he bought her a ring and it ain't on her finger... I asked her if she'd married. Uh, 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 uh. I 
wish I could rewind it. Are you married? <laughs> oh, this chick ain't got no plans on marrying this dude. She wait until a better dude come by. Homeboy, if you're watching, rewatch this tape with your therapist and act accordingly. And if her mama was out there making moves like that, you better, the apple don't fall far. Let me confused. It's not true? That's not true. Okay, then, okay. Back on the camera, please. Uh, go ahead and come up. I want to see this ring. I have it here. Uh-huh. I want to see the ring. I want to see the ring. I want to see the ring. All right. Uh -huh. Let me put it back on. Okay. Uh, put, put, put the ring back on. I, I don't need to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't trying to look at your boobs. We trying to see the ring. No, I just told you my dresser, sir. Okay. Uh huh. Now, where's the man? He stepped out. He went to get me some food. Right. You guys live together. Yes. And how long you been engaged? It just happened. How long you been engaged? Literally like a week ago. Okay. Where do you propose? Right here at home. Uh, I said that he dropped to a knee in, in public and proposed. You said yes. I didn't hear in public. I just heard on a knee. Because we can't go anywhere. Nothing's open right now. Y'all been together two years. Have you started planning the wedding? Going on two years. I have to start planning it. But like, I'm a little worried because i um, calling up places and nothing's open and they don't know when they're going to open and... Who's paying for the wedding? Our parents. And us. Your mama's paying for it? No, 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 no. Um, his parents are putting something in and my parents are also putting something in and he's also- What do you mean your parents? You mean your mama? Cause you haven't spoke yeah. about your daddy. Um, my daddy passed away. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. So his family's paying for it. Mm-hmm. Is he, just, how old is he? He's 26. 26? Mm. Have y'all gone to counseling? Why? Premarital count because premarital counseling is usually recommended before you get married. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. We don't have any issues. So. Uh, no. Premarital counseling is a wise thing to do, especially for a woman okay. who's not claiming her fiance as as her boyfriend. It was just a force of habit speech. Ah, okay. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Are you gonna have any kids? Um, um, of course, I would love to with him. I don't say, you say of course. I'm, I don't know. He's a great man, and I think he'd be a wonderful father. Yeah, well, uh, here's the thing: if he's great, put the ring on, wear it, and start calling him fiance, not boyfriend. That's insulting. Of course. That's that's. Of I mean, course. I'm being. I mean, I'm being serious, but I'm being serious. It's not calling me your fiance is 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 insulting to him because as people in the public, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, premarital counseling would be wise. Out here, I'm just like, I'm, I'm nobody. Yeah, well, you no, know, you somebody's fiance, supposedly. Say it and act like it. All righty. Woo, boy, yeah, better get some counseling up in that mud. It's not hard to fool.